Nice warm day out there, but uh, those winds are blowing in some changes. That they are. We are talking much colder temperatures heading our way. 30s tomorrow morning, and how about some 20s to wake mm. up on Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. A little bit chilly. Let's take a look at what's happening right now outside downtown Pikeville, courtesy of the U Pike Sky Cam. It is a gorgeous afternoon. Across the mountains, clear blue skies, warm temperatures, a little bit of a strong breeze out there, but no precipitation and just some really nice weather. Let's go to Pinpoint Doppler. Nice and dry today. Didn't have too much rain overnight. That storm system uh, really weakened as it moved towards the mountains and uh, the temperature still remaining on the warm side. 60, Somerset 62, London, Manchester, Hyden 63. Here in the Hazard, good afternoon, Pikeville. You're at 64. Same story in Prestonsburg and Williamson 63 up into Paintsville. We go out to the bigger picture. The area of low pressure, which caused the uh, nasty weather this morning and the wind, it's still going pretty strong off to our north and to our east. Now that storm will continue to progress off to the north and the east. Behind it, some much colder Canadian air We're going to be dragged down into the mountains and we are going to feel some very cool temperatures. Check out these wind gusts within the last hour though. 17 miles per hour into Middlesboro, 25 Jackson, 28 Paintsville, 30 up into Ashland and Huntington. Overall, a very breezy afternoon. Now that wind will die down as that low pressure moves a little bit farther away and we move into the evening and overnight hours. We'll drop down into the upper 30s and then we're back only to the low 50s tomorrow. You can see that colder air really diving down from the upper end of the Ohio River Valley. And we're going to be pulling in some pretty chilly stuff to deal with for the next couple mornings. Let's break it down for you hour by hour using future view. You see going into the overnight. Here comes those upper 30s. I think we're going to be just a little bit cooler than what future view showing because it's trying to bring a little cloud cover in here. Not really buying that. Now what I am buying these high temperatures tomorrow, low 50s. It is going to be a cool one. In fact, some of our mountain counties may not even reach 50 tomorrow. Then on Saturday, a little bit colder than what future view showing once again. It's got a little bit of a warm bias this time of year. I think we're going 28, 27 degrees for those overnight lows. And then we're back only to the upper 40s and low 50s on Saturday for highs. It is going to be a really chilly fall weekend, friends. So be ready to uh, get those heaters working pretty good again. They haven't had too much work the last couple of days. It hasn't been too cold, but this is definitely going to be a shock to the system with 20s into the forecast for Saturday and Sunday morning. A little bit warmer, though, early next week. We're back to the upper 60s by Monday. We're going to have to keep an eye on a big storm system coming out of the southwest next week, though, Steve. Uh, that one could pack quite a bit of a punch. That's something we're going to keep a very close eye on. Well, despite the cold, it's nice to see all the sunshine in there, oh, though. Yeah. Thank you, Shane. Straight ahead on first at four, a skydiver is left dangling from a plane when his jumpsuit gets stuck.